All right, guys, real life group message recap here. We talked about the church in Smyrna, and it's the second letter uh, in the seven out of the book of Revelation. And he didn't have anything, Jesus didn't have anything bad to say about this church, but he kind of had some bad news to report to them because they were getting ready to go through a major time of testing. You know, and testing a lot of times happens in between the promise of God and when we see the promises of God fulfilled in our life. There are things that come to test whether what we say we believe is actually what we believe. And so many of us, we're not going to face the same type of test that the church in Smyrna did where, you know, it's 10 days and we got to be faithful to the end to become a martyr. We're probably going to face a test more like Daniel did where we're uh, trying to, uh, you know, Daniel had a 10 day test to see if he would be true to God, even in the face of a culture that was constantly getting him to trying to get him to compromise. So what are some of those tests that we may encounter? Well, we talked about four different ones. I'm sure there are many others, but we talked about the test of temptations and how that's Satan's attempt to try to get us to name our price and how many of us just surrender uh, our integrity for just such a small price, right? It's just a trap of Satan, but thankfully there's a way of escape. And we, we talked about that, that there is a way of escape as well. Another is the temptation of, or the test of trials. When you find yourself in a trial, it's really a test to see if you're going to be in love with the idea of following Jesus or actually following Jesus. Because too many times we're just in love with the idea of following Jesus. And when you hit a trial, that's where the rubber meets the road and Satan tries to get us to question the goodness of God, to question whether we want to still keep following God. The third one is the test of trouble, which is kind of a similar thing that whenever we encounter trouble, it's really a test to see if we're in love with the idea of following Jesus or we're actually willing to follow Jesus. What does that look like? Well, we talked about how Paul, you know, he said, there's a wide open door of effective work in front of me, but there are many adversaries. How many times do we interpret open doors from God or discern them simply by trying to find the path of least resistance and assuming that's God's path and assuming that that means God opened that door? Well, according to Paul, there are times when God opens a door and there are, there's trouble involved. We have to push through some things because an open door many times is just an opportunity for us to use our faith. And again, it gets us to answer this question. Am I in love with the idea of following Jesus? Or when things get hard, am I really going to choose the Jesus way over my own way? Which leads us to the fourth thing, which is the test of those people. You all know who those people are for you. It may be different for everybody else or for everybody. Could be people across the other side of the political spectrum that, you know, we disagree with. Or it could be as close as people right in our house. Those people test whether we're going to let offenses or distractions or frustrations or tensions, uh, they test us whether we're going to actually follow Jesus and allow the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our life or whether we're going to follow our own way. And so really the whole point of the message is this, to reset our price. You know, Polycarp, when he was martyred, he, he set his price high because he knew that he was bought with a price and that nothing of this world, no offense, no trial, no test, no temptation, those people, none of it could buy him away. The world could not afford him. And we need to reset our price to understand we have been bought with the price and the world cannot afford us to pre-decide that Jesus has bought us and that we're going to live for him. So are there areas that you struggle? Maybe you struggle in one of these areas over the other. Maybe you've in the past discerned open doors from God as problem free or the path of least resistance, uh, whatever it is. Maybe there's some areas of your life that you need to reset your price. Maybe talk about the struggles that you have. Uh, maybe if it came down to giving up your life for the sake of Christ, what would that be like uh, for you? Anyway, talk amongst your group, pray together, have a good real life group.